All right, so Joe P asked, how did you get the icons in the control bar buttons? All right, Joe, appreciate the comment, appreciate the question, and thanks for subscribing. The way that I do this is I just go up to the control bar, I right click on it, I go to customize control bar, and let's say for this rectangle button here, I'm just gonna go down to the ones that I have selected, I'm gonna go down to rectangle tool, and I go into properties, and then we have these options here in properties, and all I do is this on this caption option, I got the choice between use the caption or use the image. And if I click, let's say I click use caption, you can see what that does. And then we're going to go back to it. Properties, use image. All right. And that's really, that's all to, that's all there is to it. Now as a bonus, you can actually use your own custom icons up here if you want i don't really do that but you know if you want to go that to get that deep with it get that creative with it you can do that and so how you would go about doing that is you'll go back into the properties for that button inside of the control bar settings rectangle tool and i'm just using this as an example and if you want to use your own custom images you just go over here to set image and you see I have one kind of made here. And if I click on that, you see it'll show you that you're you're using that image. Click OK. Click OK. And then now I have my own little custom image up there just for this example, right? And let's say I don't like that and I want to go back to what it was. I just go back to the rectangle tool, go back to the button, and then I just hit reset. So if you're interested in doing that, there's a lot of ways to to create your own custom images. But one way to do it is you can use Canva. And of course, you know, Canva has a free version. So you can just go into Canva, create your icons. Now I created these icons here for a stream deck. This is the one that I'm using for this example. And I have this put in 288 by 288 pixels. Now the thing about these icons is the default icons are in 24 by 24. You can't make them that small on Canva. I have the paid version and it wouldn't let me make them that small so it doesn't matter we can resize them in windows so i just i have these at 288 by 288 you can just make them as small as you want to make them right and then you'll download them to your computer this is not a canva tutorial so i'm not going to go into all of those steps and then once they're in your computer so for this example i will want this in 24 by 24 so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to open this up it's going to open up in photos if it doesn't, when you double click it, it doesn't open up in photos by default. You just right click, open width, and then go to photos. Same process. Go up here to these three dots. Then I'll resize the image. Change that to 24 by 24. And then I click save. I'm going to save it in the same place. Right, save it. It's the 24 by 24. I can actually go view folder here, right? And then there we go. Now, if we want to know where this, we want to put them in the same location. I would put it in the same location as the rest of the icons, as Sierra Charts default icons. So if you, want, if you need to know what that is, you just go back to your control bar settings. Go to that, to any one of the buttons, really, to see the path. But let me just go back to here and then once I go to set image you can see the path there right all right so I already have that path open up in my folders let me open that up bring that up so it's here this is the example I used earlier so since I, I'm just gonna move this icon over here I don't really need it there and then if it you know you're gonna have to hit refresh if you already have this open so there it is you just click it click open and now you can see this is the image that it's going to use, right? So I don't want to do that again to go through all that process of resetting it. But that's the way to do it. And then one more bonus while we're here. If you have multiple Sierra Chart installs on your computer and you get your control bar looking all nice and pretty, but you don't want to have to keep setting, you know, changing the settings for each of your Sierra Chart installs, what you can do is you can make all your settings the way you want it on one install. And then you will go to your Sierra chart folder for that install. So for this one, this one is named Sierra chart amp. 
that's just how I saved it because I have three installs of Sierra Charmer on my computer. So just the easier the for easy identification. So let me go to that folder. And inside, once you're inside of that folder, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go down here to, to the dot config file and you'll copy that and you'll save it to your other Sierra chart installs, the same folder for your other Sierra chart installs, right? So let's say I want to copy that here and let me go back to this other one. And then I would just save it here if I want to maintain the consistency throughout all of my different Sierra chart installs. All right. So I hope that answered your question. Appreciate that. Appreciate the question. Go ahead and leave your comments in the comments. I'll leave any additional questions that you have in the comment section below. Like and subscribe and all that stuff to see more content like this. I got a lot more coming. And until next time, trade it easy.